nothing out of the ordinary about a dead humpback whale except when it's mysteriously found in the Amazon jungle. How did it get inland? Nobody really knows. Oh, look at that, look! It's open, leave it, no, 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 look! Claiming to show a 50-foot anaconda swimming across a Brazilian river. Picture exploding on social media has a lot of you talking and asking, is this for real? Check this out. What you're seeing now is never before seen detail. Whether discovered or yet to be discovered, the Amazon is filled with suspicious wonders, from deadly serpents to high voltage killers. Or real life fairies. There is so much hidden within the rainforest of the Amazon, whether it's alien carcasses, huge sea creatures found dead in the Amazon basin, or dead giant eel found by a fisherman. Today's video will tell you why you should never go alone in the Amazon. Stay tuned till the end to learn all about the walking trees of the Amazon or this mysterious structure. Dead Whale in Amazon In a baffling turn of events, scientists were astonished to discover a humpback whale far from its natural habitat, deep within the Brazilian jungle. The massive 26-ton whale was found dead among circling vultures, sparking a wave of questions regarding its unusual presence. I mean, how did it end up here? Scientists have taken samples of the creature to determine the cause of its demise. Various theories have been proposed regarding how this whale ended up here. One hypothesis suggested a tornado might have lifted the creature from the sea, but 26 tons is not a joke. Another theory posits that a giant wave could have propelled the whale inland. While some consider this the most likely explanation, others remain skeptical. Researchers have expressed their bewilderment, stating, we are baffled as to why a humpback whale was found on the north coast of Brazil in February. This is a highly unusual occurrence. It's speculated that the whale may have become separated from its group. A team of specialists went to investigate what happened to the poor whale, but so far no one could unravel the real mystery behind it. Most believe it had already expired before washing ashore. This could be true, as whales are known to lose their lives due to collisions with big ships. Boiling River of Amazon This is the hottest river in the world. Picture a river so hot it could kill you, said to be home to a powerful Amazonian water spirit. That place exists. It's the Shanai Timpishka, the boiling river of the Amazon. The boiling river sits deep in the central Peruvian Amazon. The hottest temperature measured is over 210 degrees Fahrenheit. To grasp that, think your average coffee is around 130 degrees. Imagine sticking your hand in and getting second or third degree burns in seconds. It's so hot that you can make tea with the river water and you could even boil an egg in it for breakfast. Birds, reptiles, and all sorts of animals fall into it, and in a matter of minutes, they're dead. The Ashaninka people, who call this land home, revere the river with a healthy dose of fear. They weave legends of Yakumama, the serpent spirit who boils the water in her rage. It's a fitting metaphor for the power and fury that dwells beneath the surface. Penis fish of Amazon Urinating in the water is unwise, as these fishes are attracted to urine and can enter your penis if you urinate in the Amazon River. It's this tiny parasitic catfish in the Amazon, because it's attracted to urea, will swim up your urethra. Now, let's talk about a creature that has struck fear into the hearts of many, the Kandiru fish. Known by unsettling names like the penis fish and vampire fish, this tiny creature has sparked numerous stories since the 1800s. So what's the deal with the kandaru? Well, it's a tiny fish, only about an inch long, but it's adapted in a really creepy way. It has special teeth that it uses to latch onto other fish and drink their blood. These adaptations have sparked some wild stories about the kandiru, especially regarding its supposed habit of swimming into people's urethras. There are old tales of people getting attacked by kandarus in the Amazon River. One story even tells of a guy who had to have surgery to remove one from his urethra. But are these stories true? Scientists have looked into it, and it turns out that some of the stories might be exaggerated. While kandarus do exist and can cause harm, they probably don't target humans deliberately. Plus, they don't seem to be attracted to urine, as some stories claim. 
But if you do happen to encounter one of these fish in a sensitive area, it could be really painful and even dangerous. Despite their small size, Kandiras can cause a lot of bleeding and discomfort. So while the Kandiru might not be as terrifying as the legends suggest, it's still a pretty creepy creature. And it serves as a reminder that the natural world is full of surprises, some of which can be a little too close for comfort. 50-foot anaconda. No. Claiming to show a 50-foot anaconda swimming across a Brazilian river. The Amazon is really scary because it's huge and full of things that can hurt you or even kill you. Imagine you're in the heart of the Brazilian jungle. The air is thick with humidity and the only sound is the soft gurgle of a river nearby. Then, out of nowhere, a massive 50-foot anaconda appears, gliding effortlessly through the water. It's like a scene from a scary movie. Except this is real life, and nature is the ultimate thriller. Whether it is true or not, it sure sounds scary to live with creatures that big in size. Dead alien in forest. Where do scary movie people get ideas about how aliens look? Well, sometimes real stuff is super creepy too. Like, imagine two brave folks finding a dead alien dude, all tall and grey in a spooky forest. But here's the freaky part. Its leg is missing like something tore it off. Did some wild beast attack it? Or was there something way scarier lurking around? When they went back the next day, poof, no alien. Just the forest, whispering secrets and making them wonder what else might be out there watching. Enigmatic anaconda. Big snakes need big water. Of anaconda in the Amazon rainforest, it could be the biggest snake in the world. The Amazon rainforest continues to surprise us with its hidden wonders. Speaking of bravery, some divers recently encountered a giant anaconda in a Brazilian river. These intrepid souls weren't phased by the snake's size, even though most people wouldn't dare get near an anaconda on land, let alone a 20-foot behemoth in the water. Of course, there's always an element of risk. Perhaps the anaconda wasn't in the mood for a meal at the time, or maybe it was simply curious about its unexpected visitors. Otherwise, who knows what might have happened? They could have easily been swallowed alive by the formidable predator. High Voltage Killer I am not going anywhere near 860 volts of electric current, but someone tell this crocodile. He did not know that this food was electric. That bite he was going to take will cost its life, and that's exactly what happened. Unaware of the shocking surprise awaiting it, the crocodile lunged for what it thought was an ordinary meal. However, little did it know that the seemingly ordinary prey was actually an electric eel, armed with a potent weapon of electrical prowess. Electric eels, despite their unassuming appearance with snake-like bodies, flat heads, and thick brown skin, possess an extraordinary secret. They have specialized organs that dominate a staggering 80% of their body. As the unsuspecting crocodile closed in on its prey, the electric eel sprang into action, unleashing a surge of electrical energy that crackled through the water. And in a matter of seconds, it was game over for crocodile. Real-life Tinker Fairy As a kid, I was a big fan of Tinkerbell. But what if she's real? A security camera captured something intriguing. If you've seen the Tinkerbell movie, you'd quickly conclude it's her. In the footage, she briefly appears before vanishing. Freeze frame it, and you'll see wings and a body shape just like the Tinkerbell from the cartoons. Maybe fairies are real after all. To back that Tinker footage, we have this footage captured by a forest explorer where we can see this little creature hidden in the woods. It looks like an alien. Or maybe a pixie. Not sure what we're looking at, but it's certainly unusual. The tiny, unusual creature was curious at first, but then suddenly disappeared when it sensed the explorer's presence. God knows where they went, but one thing is sure. Pixies are real. Or not. What do you know? Let us know in the comments section below. Savage Symphony. This dramatic scene highlights the brutality of nature. This chilling scene reminds us how unforgiving wildlife is. A woman attempts to feed a fish to hungry crocs, but one decides it cannot go that far to grab the fish, so it decides to dine on the foot of a fellow croc, and within a second it grabs and bites off the foot. 
I'm sure Animal feels pain, but the injured crocodile shows no reaction, continuing as if nothing happened. Mystery Spider. For this one, we're not even sure what kind of spider it is. God, what spider is that, man? How intriguing is that? Some kind of spider is creating what's known as a silk henge. Yeah, this fascinating piece of spider art was first discovered back in 2013 by Troy Alexander, who shared a photo of it online seeking help to identify it. But no one could assist because it's a completely unknown phenomenon. These structures are crafted by spiders or some sort of arachnid to aid in reproduction by protecting their eggs. It looks quite alien, but it's all about safeguarding little baby spiders. At the center, there's a main spire made of spider silk where the eggs are kept. Surrounding that spire is a circular fence also made of spider silk, resembling Stonehenge, hence the name Silkhenge. Yet, to this day, we haven't learned much more. This discovery was made in 2013, and only recently did we gather more information. Tropical science communicator Phil Torres recently explored Peru and captured footage in stunning 4K. It's breathtaking. We no longer have to rely on grainy photos. Check this out. Torres shared how this research has impacted him. Clearly, he said it's something that keeps him up at night because it's so frustratingly hard to find. Despite encountering it in numerous places he visits, the next time, it's as if it never existed. Yeah, it's frustrating. It's also incredibly tiny. In this recent clip, it's stunning once more, in high definition. You can truly appreciate the intricate work. Torres also discovered that these structures are minuscule and often found in clusters. So if you stumble upon one, there's likely a few nearby. And please, don't disturb it. We still have no clue about the creator of these silk henges. Ghost of Amazon. Deep within the lush expanse of the Amazon rainforest resides a fascinating creature known as the Potu, with its striking appearance characterized by a wide-eyed gaze and an imposing bill. The Potu seems to emerge from the realm of myth and mystery. However, despite its eerie visage, this enigmatic bird serves a vital ecological role as a nocturnal insectivore. Diligently patrolling the night skies in search of prey. Under the cover of darkness, the Potu's large eyes come alive, scanning the dimly lit canopy for signs of movement. Equipped with remarkable vision adapted for low-light conditions, it skillfully snatches insects mid-flight with precision. Yet, despite its prowess as a hunter, the Potu maintains a peaceful coexistence with larger animals, preferring to evade conflict through the art of camouflage. The Potu's physical features are as intriguing as its behavior. Its oversized eyes and unique bill structure, resembling a tooth-like protrusion, are marvels of evolutionary adaptation finely tuned for the task of insect capture. During daylight hours, the Potu employs a cunning disguise, blending seamlessly into the branches like a master of disguise. Despite their resemblance to owls, Potus belong to a separate evolutionary lineage, the Order Caprimulgiformes, which also includes nightjars and nighthawks. Their distinctive features and behaviors make them fascinating subjects for study and observation in the rich biodiversity of the rainforest ecosystem. Mythical Walking Tree When you think of a tree, you usually picture a single trunk reaching up into the sky, but then there's the walking palm tree. It's nothing like your typical tree. Its trunk splits into lots of roots that spread out as it grows, making it look like it has more legs than a spider. Local legends even say it moves. The plant is gonna walk, it can walk to any side. Left, right, forwards, backwards. It moves, it can move. I've seen one move over maybe a 10 year period, it'll move maybe four meters maximum. Claiming its roots reach toward the sun as they grow. But here's the truth. The walking palm tree doesn't actually walk or chase sunlight. It stays rooted in one spot its whole life, unless a huge storm comes along. So, as cool as it looks, the walking palm tree won't be strolling through your garden any time soon. If you want walking trees, you'll have to turn to characters like the great Deku tree from The Legend of Zelda, The sword will continue to gain strength. Or Groot. Once again, fiction saves the day. Once again, fiction comes to the rescue, offering solace and inspiration where reality falls short. 
jaws of the Amazon. This guy must have been really brave because I don't think many people would dare to do what he did. Some fishermen were out on the river just exploring when they saw a huge tail sticking out of the water. They didn't know what it was at first, but one fearless man decided to find out. He reached out and grabbed the long tail, pulling on it with all his might. And guess what? It turned out to be a massive anaconda. Those snakes are hardly ever seen, so encountering one like that is like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. It must have been really scary. Shadowbane Frog How can a dart frog, a creature as small as your fingertip, possibly kill a human? It's a question that might boggle the mind until you learn about the incredible defense mechanism these tiny amphibians possess. Meet the poison dart frog, a seemingly innocuous creature with a lethal secret. Despite its diminutive size and unassuming appearance, this frog harbors within its skin a potent toxin capable of ending the life of any living being that dares to provoke it. They look very different, but they are the same species. The poison dart frog's name gives a clue to its deadly abilities. Indigenous peoples of Central and South America have traditionally used the toxin from these frogs to coat the tips of blow darts, hence the name poison dart frog. Normally, the frog keeps its poison locked away, but if it feels threatened, it releases the toxin. Even just touching or bothering the frog can trigger this response, which can be deadly to humans. One type of poison dart frog, called the golden poison dart frog, is especially potent. It has enough poison to kill thousands of mice. That's a lot of power packed into such a small creature. Waorani Warrior of Amazon The Waorani warriors of the Amazon really treasure their rivers and trees, believing they're super important. They even think that anacondas, those huge snakes, have special powers. A monster. It's kind of like a miracle. Even though the Amazon is full of scary animals, these warriors feel totally at home there. They see the outside world as riskier. A journalist from the BBC hung out with the Waorani and saw how they hunt, befriend animals, and stick to their old traditions. One big story that got everyone talking was when the Waorani warriors caught the biggest anaconda ever seen in the Amazon. Anacondas are already known as some of the biggest snakes around. They can weigh from 220 to 440 pounds and measure 4 to 5 meters long. But get this, there's talk of an even bigger one. Reports say it's a whopping 10 meters long, way longer than any other. It's like a giant among giants. This massive anaconda was about a meter wide and weighed around 880 pounds. Can you imagine stumbling upon something that huge in the wild? It's pretty amazing and shows just how incredible the Amazon rainforest and its creatures are. Jesus Lizard In legends, the basilisk is often portrayed as a fearsome serpent king, said to bring death to those who meet its gaze. But in reality, the basilisk lizard is a small reptile that might seem ordinary at first glance. However, it possesses an extraordinary ability that some might consider miraculous. It can dash across the water's surface in the blink of an eye. Meet the Basilisk Lizard, also known as the Water Walking Dragon. This little creature defies gravity and challenges our understanding of movement and locomotion. Unlike its mythical namesake, Basilisk Lizards aren't in the business of causing death with a single glance. Instead, they captivate us with their remarkable skill of sprinting on water, showcasing the wonders of nature in action. Pink River Dolphins Forget the usual ocean dolphins. The Amazon has its own incredible version, the Pink River Dolphin, or Boto. These aren't some pale imitations. They're truly pink and every bit as fascinating as their saltwater cousins. Imagine spotting a dolphin swimming through the heart of a rainforest. Pretty cool, right? But the Botos have more surprises. They have tiny whiskers on their noses that act like sonar, helping them hunt in the river's murky depths. Talk about a built-in high-tech gadget. As these dolphins age, they transform. Their bodies turn from grey to pink, likely due to accumulated scars. But here's the kicker. They also get even pinker when excited, like blushing underwater. And guess what? They're known to be social with humans. 
tourists sometimes even get to swim alongside them, a far more exciting encounter than a poisonous frog or a quirky turtle. Wouldn't you agree? So what do you say? Are Pink River Dolphins your new favorite animal? Or do you have another creature that captures your interest? Let us know in the comments below. Amazonian Civilization Deep Jungle Big Secret Archaeologists found hidden things under the trees. Not just anything. Giant pyramids. Not as big as Egyptian pyramids, but these are something. Using LiDAR, a tool that sees through dense rainforest cover, researchers unveiled a network of massive hidden structures. This discovery changed everything we thought we knew. Suddenly, there are hundreds of old ruins everywhere where there used to be just a few. It's like a whole new world hidden under the leaves. It all started in 1999 with an explorer named Heiko. He saw some weird bumps in the ground that nobody cared about, but he knew something special was there. He dug and found buildings, graves and cool stuff, signs of an important civilization from long ago. Wanting to know more, a team flew over the jungle in a special plane in 2019. This plane could see through the leaves. Underneath, they found an amazing hidden city. Straight roads connected big and small towns. There were even special pools of water and walls to keep enemies out. Nobody knows what they were used for, but they sure are mysterious. There's a whole hidden world in the Amazon waiting to be discovered. What kind of people lived here? What secrets did they have? That concludes our video for today. Which one of these surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.